Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are nearing the end of the Black Friday promo inside of FIBA 22. I want to take a look at one piece of content that we have not yet received as a part of this promo that was added to the pack code that we've been expecting that we have not yet seen, and that is the Black Friday party bag or the Black Friday pack. And that was added to the code a couple of, basically a week ago as we were getting into this promo. And that was a very interesting pack and we have not yet seen it. And since today is like the last full day of the Black Friday promo, it all but makes sense that that would somehow be released today. So I want to talk about that. And technically today is Cyber Monday, as we know it as well. And in the years past, EA have done uh, special, I guess you could say extra Black Friday content because of Cyber Monday. Honestly, I think that the only thing they're, they're going to do specially uh, today for Monday would just be continue on with lightning rounds and promo packs in the store. Today, um, I don't think we're getting any more Flash SBCs or anything like that. I think that was ending yesterday. We might have a few, like one Flash SBC that lingers into today on Monday, but I think that's over. Like the Flash SBCs every couple hours, that was only Friday and Sunday. We'll talk about that in this video as well. I also want to look at the brand new three cards. We'll start off with this in the video today. The brand new three signature signings cards that were added to the game yesterday. Marcus Urente, Ruben Diaz, and Eduard Mendy. Uh, of course, these were all cards actually that were quote unquote leaked uh, that were going to be a part of this team last week. Urente with a very small upgrade, right? A lot of people are not a huge fan of this card. You can see it's got a pretty even like to dislike ratio. Um, it just didn't get that big of an upgrade. Yes, he has a, a cool dynamic image, but only a plus one overall with plus ones and a couple plus two in some stats. Yes, he is now Hullet Gang, but such a small upgrade in total on the card. His biggest individual upgrade, I believe, was like uh, was seven balance. So 76 balance instead of 69. I'm sure it's still a cracked out card, but a lot of people think that you can't justify the price for paying, you know, basically 400,000 coins more for a plus one upgrade, which I 100% understand. Now, the two other cards that are in here look pretty good. Edward Mendy, his gold card, I used him early in the game. He was super OP. I can only imagine that this card is really overpowered as well. And it's a Premier League goalkeeper. We don't have a ton of special goalkeepers in this game, let alone Prem goalkeepers. So that's a nice card to have. And also this Ruben Diaz looks like an absolute unit. Plus 15 pace, making this card very usable. He has both 90 defense and 90 physicality. And I mean, that's a pretty, I mean, the pace still is not that insane, but it's another Premier League center back. And we only have Diop and Rudiger in this category. So finally getting another Premier League center back that a lot of people would want to use. Portuguese links uh, and also Manchester City links. It's a perfect link to that Bernardo Silva road to the knockouts card that a lot of people have. And that's why you've seen his price move a lot. Yesterday, he came out into packs. He went down as low as 180 and then exploded, and now he's even 250,000 coins as people are trying to center back. There aren't that many other options, again, like I said, in the Prem, so there's a lot of demand here for a very well-known and popular player uh, in this game. So as we're heading into rewards, I mean, weekend league rewards being released, I know some of you guys have already got them, but of course, on Monday mornings, we always see the mass weekend league rewards distributed. These cards really are not dropping at all. This market is really stagnant is the best way to say it. And I honestly think that's just because people have a lot of coins and they just went through the whole tumultuous period of having to sell their team, figure out when to buy, and they're done with that, right? They just bought cards for a team and they're happy. They don't feel like selling. So unless there's a reason for them to panic, they're not going to panic. But one thing that could potentially cause a little bit of panic today, and this is not confirmed to be today, but it almost just makes sense. And I feel like we haven't talked about this pack that much since the pack code came out, and it hasn't been seen yet in this game, which kind of leaves us to, since this promotion is ending today on Tuesday, unless EA have something else up their sleeve, what is going to be the day when they would drop this, except today? Like, it just kind of makes sense. The Black Friday pack black friday exclusive contains one otw road to the knockouts or rule breakers rule breakers player two gold rare players and three rare consumables now a lot of people were like wow it contains consumables why would this be an sbc um it still could be a pack that they drop in the store i think the two leading i guess favorite ways that this might be dropped into the game or the two most um i don't know 
the, the most two likely ways this pack might be dropped into the game. In my opinion, I still think this might be an SBC, right? I think this is a perfect, basically a party bag SBC that EA could drop today that would, you know, everybody has bought up a lot of these out of pack special cards, some rule breakers, some ones to watches, uh, and some of those road to the knockouts. Like you take a look, Foden is up a decent amount. Davies is up, especially if you look at the Rule Breakers team number one. Holland is up. He was like 530k. Usman Dembele is up. Rudiger is flying. Trent Alexander is flying. This would be a perfect time for EA to kind of, I know it sounds pretty EA-like, but to kind of put in this big pack and make some panic selling happen on those cards and, and make some of those cards lose their value and make people lose coins. So I don't know, man. I just, I'm just getting a feeling that this Black Friday pack, if it's going to come, I feel like it's going to come today. So I want to talk about this pack just again a little bit. If it's going to be an SBC, I think it's going to be in the price range of somewhere around probably like 100 to 150,000 coins, maybe like 80 to 120K would be more of a sweet spot. Now, to be honest, is that good value? It's really not that good of value because ones to watch, road to the knockout or rule breakers. I mean, through all of these promo teams, you've got cards that are basically discard value, right? You've got Arnold at 15K, Verissimo 23,000 coins. Some of these road to the knockouts aren't even live and upgrading anymore. Or some of these ones to watches aren't gonna be live and upgrading anymore. Konate, 20,000 coins. Bellerin, 12,000 coins, right? Furpo, discard. So there's plenty of cards that'll be available from this pack that would not be very, I guess you could say, valuable. But EA also know that people right now in this game have tons of fodder. They have tons of coins. So they can overprice this SBC a little bit. They can overprice it a little bit and still get so many people to go out and do it since there's so many upgrade packs and stuff like that that are out in this game right now that a lot of people would be wanting to go and uh you know craft if you will this brand new black friday pack so that's why i think it might be around a hundred thousand coin mark i think that it would cause some panic on the market on these ones to watch cards especially on the higher tier that's where you would want to watch right lukaku wants to watch right the the big name cards that are not going to get packed that much rodrigo who is up because of the benzema sbc but still getting a double upgrade here in the next couple of weeks sane right sonaldo robertson marquinhos uh even you know tonali vidal players that aren't even get a double getting a double upgrade or any upgrades that are uh, of the live item wants to watch or road to the knockout type but still very meta cards renan low right chiro immobile or if you go to the rule breakers you think about somebody maybe like onyeka still a card that might get packed a little bit but a card that has a decent amount of demand still watch out for panic selling on these cards because it's not like that these cards from this pack would be entering the market tradable right this would be contains one of these players untradable um and that will of course cause some panic selling but i think it will also cause some prices to get too low and then players will bounce back if you sell your holland like oh my goodness i'm gonna pack holland out of this sbc pack and you don't well then this card's gonna get bought back after the people that thought they were gonna pack him don't get him so it's gonna be a, a quick sell-off and then a rebound in my opinion and that would honestly happen regardless of whether it's an sbc or whether it's in the store because if this pack is released in the store as well uh, whether it's just one time pack that you can uh, just buy with with FIFA points or with coins or whether it's an objective. I mean, seriously, all all venues or all ways of getting this card are still all avenues. That's the word I'm looking for. All avenues of EA making this pack available are still out there. We just don't know which one they're going to do it. It's going to cause some panic regardless. And if it is an SBC, then I 100% think that SBC fodder would rise for that now a lot of people saw fodder get pretty low yesterday and let's talk about sbc fodder for a second a lot of these cards got pretty cheap now i don't know if any of them have risen back up at all but with the supply from yesterday on sunday again we had the flash sbcs we had more lightning rounds every single hour promo packs getting spammed on this game once more Lewandowski was like 58k at one point i think right now he's about 60 62 uh, you had 86s get low, basically all of your higher tier fodder, 86s all the way up to the Lewandowski at 92 rated were pretty low. 88 rateds were like 23,000 coins, 87s were like 16k on bid, the 86s were like 11, 10 to 11,000 coins on bid. So if you got some SBC fodder, today at Rewards might be another opportunity to look into some of this stuff. Uh, if, you, if you haven't bought any higher tier fodder yet and you want to just do a little bit of a club stock, I think again... 
rewards today on bid might be a great time maybe even today on monday depending on what content they drop this stuff could still stay kind of low but this is a really really good opportunity to put some of this in your club and then wait for the next couple of weeks as we have sbcs after black friday maybe a new icon sbc whether it's a mid icon sbc or a base icon player pick that's just gonna of course this market has coins and people are gonna have the facilities to go do sbcs so when they put out big ones like that that would make this fodder rise after the Black Friday supply is over. So it's a big time of supply right now. So stocking a little bit of that fodder is a great shout. You know, 82s, 83s, 84s, 85s, that stuff is still a little bit inflated. So I would hold off on uh, buying any of that right now. In my opinion, I still think that can go a little bit lower once we have some of these SBCs that are in here right now, like Benzema, like the Team of the Week upgrade. A lot of these Black Friday packs, like the 85 plus guaranteed, um, and stuff like that is kind of making that lower tier edge of fodder rise up a little bit because it's it's required in some of these SBCs. So that's just kind of my opinion on that at the moment. But a good club stock of the 86s and above could do you very well right now, as I did yesterday. I've got like a million coins, actually, over a million coins in a club stock uh, of the higher tier stuff and some purchases of like ones to watch cards and road to the knockouts that are getting upgraded in this next week. I picked up two Hakimis yesterday at 310k basically one of them i picked up at 305 on a bit of a snipe and the other one was at 310 or 311 you can see that hakimi and psg actually clinched the five wins uh that he needs to get that wins to watch upgrade so hakimi is going to be getting a plus one uh on wednesday there's a lot of cards that are getting a plus one uh Grealish is going to get a plus two sabitzer a plus two upa Meccano plus two but what you've seen is people wait till they get that fifth win and then they sell the card, like somehow thinking it's going to get upgraded right away. But this Hakimi dropped down. We saw the same thing with Uba Meccano on Saturday. He dropped down and then rebounded back up. So I'm hoping this Hakimi is back up to like 350, 360 uh, again later on this week. And I'll probably look to take the cash before the card upgrades. Uh, so then, of course, once the card upgrades, people are probably going to look to sell this card. Also, a tall is out right now. So I want to make sure that I take the cash uh, on what I'm sure is a very still invested in card at this moment. So that's kind of a good movement that you if you did get involved there, that was a GG. Um, and on this market right now, it just it just feels like a lot of people, a lot of stuff is stagnant. A lot of these cards aren't dropping that much. Now, Holland's 505. He got really high yesterday. I think there's some there's some hype for him, but you can see he was reaching lows of 470, went up to like 530, and he's been consistently in the in the low to mid 500s. So I really wouldn't want to buy this again until he's like back in the 480k range. To be completely honest, a lot of stuff just seems to be holding a pretty high price. Even these uh, summer I keep selling them summer signings, man. They're not. They're signature signings. Even these cards really haven't dropped. Ben Yedder's still 900K. De Bruyne is still over 800. Renato Sanchez is still about 700,000 coins. There's real, really no reason for people to sell cards, right? People just bought their teams earlier this weekend, and they were waiting for so long to get coins to buy teams that it really just does not make them... They don't feel like they have to sell. There's no insane, and there's a lot of content that's out right now, but nothing like preview packs, right? No preview packs are threatening the worth of their items that are in their club. So there really is no reason to panic sell. If that Black Friday party bag pack were to be released today, uh, I think that could cause some panic. That's like the number one thing that I could see today on Monday, causing a little bit of panic. The other thing would be a preview pack, right? And now a lot of people were expecting preview packs this weekend, myself included. I thought they were going to include preview packs as a part of the Black Friday promo. And this is, again, kind of their last day to do it. I'm starting to wonder now, if it doesn't come today, then this would really cement the idea in my mind that preview packs are literally just going to be saved until people don't expect them, right? We had the base icon SBC three weeks ago and they dropped preview packs like every other day, crashing the market every single day that they did that. Nobody was expecting it then, right? We were expecting a big SBC and bam, they dropped uh, preview packs with it. So right now everybody's expecting preview packs. So what's gonna make them want to actually drop those? Now for EA, it would still make sense for them to drop some big packs because there are a lot of promo cards that are in the store and maybe they'll they'll wait until after weekend league rewards today when people buy some of their weekend league using their weekend league rewards and the coins that they get from those rewards maybe they're going to say all right we're going to wait for people to go out and buy cards for the teams then drop this preview pack and crash the market i don't know again there's still 100 and 125 preview packs 125k preview packs that are in the code so those can drop at any time but it just seems like ea knows we're expecting it 
So they're going to wait until we're not, right? It's just kind of a very interesting situation. I feel like one of our last chances for those preview packs could be today as well as a part of the Black Friday promo because today's the last full day, right? These cards, the best of team of the week and the signature signings cards, they go out of packs today, uh, tomorrow on Tuesday. Tomorrow on Tuesday at 6 p.m., it's over, right? And if you look in the SBC section, I think there's a decent amount of SBCs that are expiring at that time as well. A lot of your upgrade packs, three days remaining. So I don't really expect this promo to go further on than Tuesday. After Tuesday, it's gonna be a, a cutoff. There's gonna be a few SBCs that probably linger. And then, you know, it's probably gonna be a loading screen Wednesday, Thursday, and then we're gonna have a brand new promo on Friday, whether it's team the group stage or foot freeze, we don't know, we'll have to see. But we are getting towards the end of this promo so just watch out for some panic selling today like i know we have best of team of the week two that is in packs right now and a lot of these cards keep moving in price a ton if there's going to be any panic today on a monday it's going to be because of preview packs or because of this black friday pack uh the party bag right that those are the two things that i would expect to cause panic today but if there's none of that it might be kind of a quiet monday and i don't expect to see any crazy content today besides maybe some lightning rounds and besides promo packs in the store flash sbcs as far as we know it are done uh ea tweeted out this last flash sbc like an hour before me recording this it's an 80 plus triple pack i guess this is like the only outside shot that ea would release this black friday pack as a flash SBC uh Friday night it was like 4 a.m Saturday morning so like it was the last flash SBC that they did late Friday night early Saturday morning they dropped a 50k pack for like an hour when nobody was awake if they drop this SBC as a flash SBC like during the night hours when nobody is awake or very few people no disrespect to my Australian audience and to those on that side of the world that are like yo this is when we're on the game but um that would be kind of crazy. They kind of, like that would that would kind of suck to be honest because a lot of us are sleeping when that SBC was released on uh, Saturday morning early, like 4:30 a.m. UK time. Uh, so hopefully they don't do that again, and hopefully this comes as like a specific set SBC. I think that's my prediction on what this Black Friday pack would come. But who knows? EA can do anything. They can put anything uh, into the game that they want. Again, we've seen it this year more than ever. They just literally they don't care. They'll do whatever they need to do to to get that bread and to make uh that money that they need to make so if you're trading on the market right now icons are a good place what 645 on bid man icon bids are you kidding me that was a ridiculous price 720 for rio is getting pretty low so a few of these cards have dipped down in the week of like sell off i just flipped a ronaldinho for a small profit um i'm, I'm just taking a look at icons because in a market right now where a lot of people have coins uh, they're they're not going to be afraid to try cards out and to buy cards that they have not been able to afford and just to you know mess around with the coins that they do have so man i guess take a look at your icon bids i got a bid on del piero last night that was a good deal guess i'm going to be watching my late night bids a little more closely because that was a crazy deal there on ferdinand that's like 100k up man or 100k down you can sell that for 740 or 750 later on today most likely so that's kind of the video for today right it's really looking into the last day of this promo I don't expect anything insane today. The only thing that could be coming would be preview packs or this uh, Black Friday pack. And that's just the big question mark for today. I don't expect a lot from Cyber Monday. Again, we talked through it all. Maybe we see a bit of a rise after the weekend league rewards today on some of the market. Again, there's not a big drop off today. I made a bunch of coins on golds um, from Saturday night into Sunday morning. I bought Salaz in the low 130s. He went up to like 147. And even now, I think he's back down into the 120s he was he was 120 flat earlier now he's 129 so there might be some more movements upwards on the market today if you see any cards dip down whether it's gold out of packs cards uh or maybe even the signature signings might rise a little bit after weekend league rewards because that puts coins on the market um, but we'll see it's really just going to be where the hype is if there's any leaks i haven't seen any uh that'll be a, a point of conversation today as well too if if those kind of get put into the picture so we will see man it's a very interesting monday this week is going to be very interesting as well. Just just to talk about this for one second at the end of the video, this Wednesday is going to be a really, really big day for content on this game. I know the Black Friday promo is going to be ending, but we have the ones to watch, wins to watch upgrade, the biggest batch that we've seen yet of those cards getting upgraded. All these cards will be out of packs from Black Friday and Best of Team of the Week. And EA, it'll be December 1st on Wednesday, EA will be giving out those hero packs. If you pre-ordered the ultimate edition of the game, 
I would be careful with hero cards because I think those hero packs are going to start affecting the market very soon. I don't think there's going to be, you know, a lot of people are going to be ripping these on Wednesday when they get gifted out and, and given out, but that's going to be a very, that's going to move a lot of the market. I think it's going to cause some people to panic sell guys like Keen, Ginola, Di Natale, Abedi Pele. But of course, a lot of people are not going to pack those cards on Wednesday. So we'll talk about that more as the week goes on. That'll be a place where we'll probably see the market move a lot later on this week. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.